Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Hi. So if you can't tell by the title already, I'm gonna be doing a favourites video. I don't know how long it's been since I did my last one. Feels like a while. So I just thought I would share some of the things that I've been loving with you recently. I have to write it down because I have a really bad memory. <laughs> Before I tell you mine, I want you to pause the video, comment down below something that you've been loving recently, whether it's something you've been watching, something you've been eating, a skincare product, beauty product, whatever it is, let me know down below because I love reading these things and finding out what you guys are loving because then I can give it a go and it might end up on my favourites in the future. But the first couple of things aren't physical things, they are things that I have been watching and I have just added one of these things to this list like an hour ago. <laughs> so the first one is actually a YouTuber, most people probably already know her, she's got quite a big following but she's called Naomi John and she's hilarious. Her and Vincent, her roommate, are the most hilarious duo. Ever. She's just become quite a favourite of mine to watch. When she does her try on hauls or she'll test like a fashion brand, they're just insane. They're just so funny. So whenever Alex and I can't be bothered to find something to watch, we'll just stick on one of her videos where we don't have to necessarily pay attention, but we will just be pissing ourselves laughing. So if you want to go and check her out, go and check her out. She does all sorts of videos, but they're just really funny. Whether or not that was the route she was going down, I don't know, but they're hilarious. Just Go and watch it. I'll leave her channel down below if you don't know who she is. The second of all is something I've literally just started watching a couple of hours ago and I'm hooked already. I've seen this show advertised on Netflix a couple of times now and it was really confusing me because there is a book that I've read. I think it's The Daughter of Smoke and Bone or Shadow and Bone or something like that. And at first when I saw this trailer, I thought it was for this book that I read, but it's not. It's a completely different show, but it was based on a completely different book. So now that I know it's a book, I really want to read the book, but it is called Shadow and Bone. It's kind of a fantasy TV show and I think I'm like two or three episodes in and it's really, really good. But it's a little bit confusing. It's one of those shows that kind of just throws you in and you have to catch up as you go along. It makes no sense in the slightest, but at the same time, everything makes sense. If you want to hire me for the best descriptions about TV shows and the best reviews, my email's down below. I'm not very good at describing things and I obviously don't want to give it away, but it gives me Avatar vibes to an extent where people have like powers and shit, but yeah, just go watch the trailer if you're interested in fantasy TV shows and definitely go and give the trailer a watch. It is on Netflix. So far I am hooked. I'm hoping to God it doesn't have really good first episodes and then it just goes woo like a lot of shows do. Hopefully it stays really good. If I really enjoy it, I will then read the book. But yeah, I'm I'm loving it and I had to add it on there. So next we're gonna get on to some more physical things I can actually show you. <laughs> I've got a couple of skincare, hair care related things I'm gonna show you. So the first one is this little bad boy. I have talked about my skincare way too much in a lot of my recent videos, but this is the Niacinamide and Zinc Booster, but this one is the Super Drug Me Plus one. But this is what it looks like. It's the amber bottle with the yellow and white packaging. This is the Refine. It's 10% Niacinamide niacinamide and 1.5% zinc so it's pretty identical to the ordinary one that I was using however if you watch some of my recent videos you might know that I really like the ordinary and then found out they've been bought by a company that isn't cruelty free so I'm a bit like rude everyone recommended this one to me it is vegan it's cruelty free and so far I don't know if it's working. <laughs> it took my skin quite a while to get used to the ordinary one and obviously now I'm not using that anymore I'm giving this one a go. I am having a few breakouts but I don't know if it's because the formula of this one is slightly different but I didn't react to it which I was quite surprised at. My skin's atrocious. It's just fit right in with my skincare so I added it to my favourites. I'm not saying I'm breaking out because of this it might be because I've been eating shit I've been wearing makeup loads, that kind of thing. But either way, I am enjoying this. It is slightly runnier than the ordinary ones. So usually if you put a few droppers on your face, it'll start to like seep down. This it instantly is like, whee! So you have to be quite quick with it. But I do want to say I'm so confused about the price. I have no idea how much this is. So after everyone recommended it, we went to Superdrug and I think I paid like two pounds summit for it, which I knew was some form of offer. When I looked online, it said about four pound. So I think it was just some form of offer and I was like, that's fine, I'm happy to pay that. However, I went and bought some today because I'm running low on this already and it was seven pound. And I'd already like had all my cards out ready and I, I didn't have the nerve to be like, oh, I'm sorry, how much? Because the price tags didn't match the price of any of the items. So yeah, I paid seven pound for it. 
which I think is more than the ordinary one. So I don't really know what's happening there. I don't know. But either way, I'm enjoying it so far and hopefully my skin gets used to this one. So next, I have some hair products. So I don't know if you can tell, I finally had my dead ass hair cut. <laughs> it was so bad. So, so bad. It literally just had like a straight cut with all the dead ends off and it's feeling so much better already. I still need to figure out what hairstyle I want because at the minute it's just like a dead mop on my head. However, I've been using a couple of hair things to help my hair recently. So for some reason, obviously the dead ends of my hair were just dead, but my scalp just decided to start hating me. It just was not happy. My scalp was just like, I'm the only thing that's not wrong in your life. I'm going to change that. <laughs> I tried all like the head and shoulders things and none of them really worked. But then Alex had one of these, I think it's called Vosine. And I thought I'd try that and that kind of helped. So I've been sticking to it. This is what it looks like. It's the medicated one. So this is the original dandruff prevention shampoo. This is a very, very strange smell to it. I like it. I kind of, it's not my favourite smell, but I, I quite like it. But it's quite an acquired taste, I guess or an acquired scent. I have noticed it working. It's not got rid of it completely, but this is supposed to be used daily. I can't use it daily because I have the oiliest scalp in the world. I don't know what it's doing. It just produces oil. Like I'll wash it within like 20, because I've got it down within like 20 minutes, it's gonna be greasy. It's really, really fun. So if I was to wash my hair every single day, from what I'm aware, my body will then produce more oils. So yeah, I can't use it for daily use, but it's really cheap. I think it was like a couple quid max, maybe like 99p from Home Bargains. It has worked. I just can't use it to its full potential. Compared to paying a stupid amount for head and shoulders, which does fuck all, so yeah. And then second is this scalp brush. These are the weirdest looking things ever, but it's just like an egg. It kind of looks like a detangler, but then it has these sort of silicone rubbery teeth on it. And I've basically just been putting this on and then massaging it into my scalp, really getting in there and to help rejuvenate the scalp. I don't really know. Saw it on TikTok and thought I'll give it a go. I do like using it. It makes me feel like I'm actually cleaning my head. Some of these can be quite expensive, but I think I paid no more than three quid from Amazon or eBay or something like that. So something else I've been using in the shower is this shower gel. So this is called The Land of Nod. I believe this was raved about by mums, like Instagram mums, because it helps like their baby sleep or something. All of last year people were raving about it, but either way, we live in the smallest town ever. We don't have access to a lot of things. So I was very surprised to finally see these in my Poundland. But yeah, they're from Poundland and I believe it's just a Poundland brand. But yeah, it's called Land of Nod. This one's the shower gel and this one is the pillow spray. So they are plastic bottles. They're kind of like this amber tinged bottle and it does say on the back against animal testing which i'm very happy about this one is vegan friendly i'm not sure about this one it doesn't say vegan friendly so this is the relaxing and calming lavender with essential oils to aid a good night's sleep this one exactly the same but this is the pillow spray basically i've had insomnia for about 13 years now and lavender is like my best friend it doesn't help it doesn't cure me but it helps calm me down a little bit. So it helps to an extent. So I was more than happy to try this. They're only a pound each. It is quite a small bottle compared to the likes of huge bottles that you can get for a pound. But I have the most sensitive skin ever. I can't really use perfumed shower gels, but I thought I would give it a go. And my skin, it doesn't love it, but it also doesn't hate it. Like the first few times I used it, it was a little bit itchy, but I think I'm kind of used to it now. So I don't really react to this too bad. But if I'm having a shower at night, I will use this just to, just to give me like zen vibes calm me down a little bit and then this i've used like there is no tomorrow i spray the shit out of our bed with this every single night sometimes i spray myself with it i'm like cure that insomnia please i feel like it helps to an extent i've had some decent ish sleeps lately i'm not saying it's cured me obviously but i like it it's just nice to smell lavender before i go to bed i know not everyone likes lavender but i do and this i don't know if you can see but the line of use is pretty much at the label and i've been rinsing this for a while now so it is lasting forever so yeah they're only from poundland they do a bunch of other stuff like body butters and bath bombs and stuff but i just wanted to try these i didn't realize how many sort of beauty products i had today but next i have a roll-on deodorant this takes me back to high school when we weren't allowed to use you know spray deodorants in the pe changing rooms because apparently everyone was going to die from inhaling the fumes. <laughs> this is just a Nivea one. It's the black and white invisible original five times anti odor sweat stage residue irritation 48 hour and antiperspirant. God, that's a mouthful. This is what it looks like. It is a glass jar. This was from Poundland again and it has lasted me months. I'm pretty sure I got this a while ago and there's still all that left in it. It's basically 
TMI, I know, but I'm a sweaty bitch. If I'm cold, I'm sweaty. If I'm hot, I'm sweaty. If I'm stressed out and nervous or anxious, which is pretty much like all the time, I'm sweaty. It's really, really fun. And no deodorant seemed to work that much for me, but I have noticed a huge difference in using a roll-on. I'm still sweaty, don't get me wrong, but not as much. The only downside to using a roll-on is it takes fucking ages to dry. I'm like chicken winging it, trying to get it to dry. As soon as I get out of the shower, I pop this on. And then because I'm all like warm from the shower, it usually dries a little bit quicker. But I've loved this. I've really really enjoyed it. I am going to keep trying roll-ons because it's working. It's only a pound It's great. If you're a sweaty bitch like me, give it a go. So next I don't know what order these videos are going up in But if you saw a recent video where I tried making scrunchies, it's become one of my favorite things I love making scrunchies now. I think it's so therapeutic. There is something about just sitting down with a video video YouTube video <laughs> come a video player on with a YouTube video on and just sewing away. I love it But yeah, these are just some that I made recently. And nothing special, just practice ones. But yeah, I really enjoy it. I'm hoping my sewing machine stays with me and lets me keep making these because it's fun. I like doing crafts, it's a new hobby for me. So I saw I'd include that. So next is actually some gin. Am I gonna get demonetized for showing gin on my channel? I don't know. I'm gonna show it anyway. This juice. I'm really liking this juice. But this is it. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this bottle because it's so cool. I had to post this. But this is just from Aldi. It's not for bubbles. And I'm not gonna lie, I mostly bought it for the bottle. But the flavour sounded really, really nice. And I thought if I like it, it's an extra bonus. So this is the Infusionist. So it isn't a pure gin. It's a... I can't say this word. Lic... Lic... Liqueur? Lic... Liquor? I think it's liquor. Gin liquor, liquor, no it's not, liquor, this word. It's basically just a weaker gin, like a flavoured gin. They're the only gins I can really drink because I don't drink. The most I'll ever drink is maybe one or two fruity ciders or a couple glasses of fruit gin li liquor. I'm funny, I don't like the taste of alcohol and it gives me a headache. That's how I know I'm old. <laughs> this one is the apricot and lychee gin and it tastes so nice it tastes really really good i like it with lemonade or tonic and i think this was maybe around a tenner they're liquor liquors i can't say they're fake gins they're weak gins are really really cheap so yeah i'm very happy with this one oh, it makes such a good sound i must bought it for the bottle but the flavors an added bonus but yeah they always have a really nice range of drinks there I really like this one. And finally, we have a candle. So this is looking really, really gross on camera, but this one is the Wickford & Co. Pink Rhubarb and & Pear. And it smells divine. It comes with a lid. I think it's from Home Bargains. This is what it looks like. Please ignore the fact that it's so black at the top. I need to clean it. But I have so many candles. I have boxes and boxes of candles. They're just taking up so much space in the house, but I have my more luxury independent brand comp in What? words i have my more luxury candles from independent companies that i am desperate to burn but i want to get rid of all the cheap ones first and then just have like the really nice soy ones and stuff this one i've been burning like there is no tomorrow so after i've done my kitchen clean i put this on so when alex comes home it smells really nice rhubarb is one of my favorite scents and this smells divine i think they're 2.99 or 3.99 from home bargains they're so cheap they do so many different scents but this is one of my favourites. I am just trying to burn it loads. <laughs> just, just just, to get rid of it really. But if you can't necessarily afford a more luxury candle, I will prefer it if people, you know, shop local, support your independent business owners. But if you can't necessarily do that, these are really, really cheap. I love how big the jars are. So once you've done with them, you can give them a clean out. You can use them for storage. That is actually everything. Just a few little nifty bit, Nifty bits? That is the same, isn't it? Nifty bits. I don't think it's right in context though. A few little bits that I've been loving recently. Like I said, let me know down below if there's something specific that you've been loving recently. I would love to know if you've got any recommendations for things to watch, things to listen to, or products to try. Just leave them down below and I will happily give them a go. But thank you so much for watching. Please give me a massive thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you are not. I'll leave all my social media link down below as well so feel free to head on over there and check me out. But I will see you in my next one. Bye! Bye! Are you tired after running around? Are you asleep? No.